So here in my desk are two great examples of different styles of 3D printers that you might have seen or might have worked with here in the past. Both of these have network capabilities, meaning I can actually here in my own internal network, go on my computer, slice up a file and remotely send it to either of these 3D printers to have a print job started. However, the problem comes into play when I wanna leave my house, but still remotely monitor the progress of my 3D prints. There's no convenient way to do that on these 3D printers and a lot of other 3D printers that are out there. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a free way you can set up remote monitoring for your 3D printers, as well as add some of that smart AI capability to them so that it will actually alert you if anything is failing. Now in the past for remote monitoring my 3D printers, I've done a really roundabout way of setting this up. And by what I mean by that is using multiple different apps and technologies. The first being a Waze camera here. So I'm utilizing the Waze app and I'll point this at a 3D printer or have this set up on a 3D printer so I can remotely monitor it that way. And then I'm also plugging the 3D printer into one of these smart plugs so that I'll go on to my phone, into the home assistant. And if the 3D printer, the 3D print is failing, if I need to, I can actually kill the power to the entire 3D printer. And this isn't the most elegant solution for all of this by any means, but it's an option that I've been using that I wanted to mention. However, today's solution using Octo Everywhere is so much more elegant and straightforward, and it actually is integrated into the 3D printers, as well as all in one location so that you can manage multiple 3D printers in an app that is on my phone, and it's just stupidly simple to work with. And the solution that I'm gonna be walking you through is Octo Everywhere, which I believe is an offshoot of Octo Print. And it's basically a straightforward, simplified way to actually get up and running with a variety of different 3D printers that you might be working with. And in today's video, I'm gonna be heavily focusing on the Centauri Carbon since this is the newest 3D printer from Elegoo. And yes, this video is being sponsored by Elegoo and we'll talk about that here in a few minutes, but it also works with their past 3D printers like the Neptune 4 and the Neptune 3 3D printers. Assuming your 3D printer has network access and is running off of Clipper or a variety of other other different uh, printer management software on the machines, you should be able to actually work with this free solution. And there is a paid tier option. Uh, I've signed up for the paid tier option just to help support the developer and to get access to some of the more advanced functions. However, the free option should probably work amazing for a lot of you out there. And I'm gonna be walking you through how to set this up on not only your PC, but also on your Mac in this video. Now, in order for Octo Everywhere to run, you're gonna need something to run it on. So they recommend using a Raspberry Pi, or if you're familiar with Docker and setting up containers inside of Docker, you can go that route. Now, I'm gonna be utilizing the Raspberry Pi method, and they recommend using a Pi 20 w or a Pi 4, and I honestly wasn't sure which one to go with, so or what all I needed, so I ended up buying one of the Canna kits for each of these off of Amazon. That is complete overkill. You definitely don't need to do that. You can individually pick up each of the parts and you're gonna save a ton of money. You definitely don't need everything that comes in those kits unless you really want to. And I'm happy to say I have three 3D printers set up and running on the Pi 02W. So I would definitely recommend that route as it's gonna be the least expensive when it comes to picking up one of these options. You're also gonna need a micro USB card. Both of the options that mine came with were 32 gigs. So I'm gonna recommend 32 gigs. You're also gonna need a micro USB card reader that you can plug into your PC or Mac. So either a USB or USB-C reader option for your micro USB card. And then you're gonna need a way to actually power your Raspberry Pis. Now the Pi 4 is really straightforward and simple. This can work with a USB-C cable. So those are pretty readily available with most phones that you have and chargers. So you should hopefully have an option available for that if you go this route. Again, this one's slightly more expensive. For the Pi Zero here or the Pi to zero, whatever this one is, the Pi Zero, this is gonna need a micro USB cable and some way to plug it in. By the way, I'll have links to all of these and the different parts that you're potentially gonna need for this, links down below if you're interested in picking this up for yourself, if you don't already have one. Also, make sure to shop around if you're not on a time constraint, Amazon definitely is the most expensive option out there. Things like Micro Center, you're gonna have a much better affordable option when it comes to picking these up. The kits came with cases. You don't need those. We've got 3D printers. We're gonna 3D print our own cases. Now, before we get to the setup, I just wanna mention some of the highlights of the functionality that you can find within this Octo Everywhere application. Again, in the free version of this, you'll have unlimited remote access to 
your 3D printers through the Octo Everywhere site. Uh, you'll also have unlimited access to AI detection, which is really cool. And then uh, there is no remote app that you can use. However, I will show you what I'm actively using, which is basically just a saved version of the web page on my phone. And that is free to use under the free version of the plan. The webcam will display for about 20 seconds. Uh, you have limited access to uploading and downloading. I've not really used the upload and download function for any of this just yet. I'm still using my computer for all that. And then uh, this is gonna limit you to three printers that you can have connected through one Octo Everywhere account under the free plan. The last big one that's under the free plan is you have limited notifications. And what that means is that you're only limited to four notifications per day. And I'll talk about that here and what I think you should set that up if you're gonna go with the free plan. Now, if you did wanna support the developer for this, I'm personally paying, uh, this is the one annual subscription. I'm using the supporter tier that's gonna give me unlimited notifications and access to up to five 3D printers and longer streams throughout the cameras directly through the application along with some other features and functionality. Now you're gonna need to set up an account and once you do that, you're gonna come in and select add printer under the menu and it's gonna guide you through step-by-step -step the process for setting this all up. And it's really straightforward. They even have, if you don't have all the tools necessary, they have the call outs and links to the tools that you might need to get this set up. And if you're not sure if your printer is actually supported, you can come under the select your printer by name and you'll see all the different brands that they have currently guides and access set up for this that are gonna help walk you through the process of getting this connected to Octo everywhere. And for this little installation, I'm gonna be focusing in on setting this up for my Elegoo Centauri Carbon. I also wanted to mention that today's video is being sponsored by Elegoo. They are the makers of the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. That is their brand new Core XY fast and affordable 3D printer coming in at just $299.99. This thing packs so much bang for its buck. It's absolutely wild to me how well this thing can actually 3D print, how fast it is, and how amazing the print profiles are with it. Now, paired with this new Octo Everywhere setup, this just completes the entire package for this 3D printer, allowing me to get notifications if there's any print issues. Not that there would be, but if there were, it would alert me, and I can print with just about any material that I want to because of that fully enclosed 3D printer. If you're interested in more information about Elegoo's 3D printers or their products or their filaments, you can find more information about those down below and stay tuned because in April Elegoo is going to be running a really awesome contest and I'll be definitely be sharing more information about that very soon. Keep in mind one cool thing that they're doing is they have a promotion with Elegoo going right now that if you have a Centauri Carbon and you're setting this up with Octo Everywhere they have a $25 credit for that you can put towards the actual paid subscription plan here in Octo Everywhere. And the Octo Everywhere guide is extremely detailed and walks you through step by by step through the entire process of getting your Raspberry Pi installed and set up and connected to your 3D printer and back to your Octo Everywhere account. But at a high level, you're gonna take the micro SD card and plug that directly into your computer where we're gonna to need to set up the Raspberry Pi imager. Once you have the Raspberry Pi imager downloaded, we're gonna run that application where you're gonna enable SSH as an option. Then we're gonna set the host name as well as a username and password. And then you're gonna to wanna to enter in your Wi-Fi credentials. Once that's done processing, you can take the micro SD card out of your computer and we're gonna insert that in to your Raspberry Pi, which you at this point want to have plugged in and powered on. And then you can get back on your Mac or your PC and use an application called Terminal, or on your PC, you can use MOBA X Term, where we're going to actually remote in and connect to your Raspberry Pi. To do this, we're going to utilize something called SSH, where we're going to enter in some credentials. And again, they have all this information in the guide here. And then we're going to insert a new command directly into your Raspberry Pi that's going to install the process here for the printer that you're particularly working with. And keep in mind, this might be different from the version that I have here for the Centauri Carbon compared to another printer that you might be working with. It will then walk you through the process of further setting that up, including things like needing the IP address for your printer that's connected to your network so that you can actually have that connected directly to your Raspberry Pi, as well as authenticating and connecting that back to your actual Octo Everywhere account. And then once that's all set up, you're good to go and your printer is connected to your Octo Everywhere account and you can start utilizing this service. 
I promise you it is not that detailed and complicated. If I can do this, you can do it. And keep in mind on that free Octo Everywhere plan, you can repeat those steps up to three times for three of your different 3D printers on one Octo Everywhere account. And again, I have the cheapest Pi right here that I set up that has all three of my printers directly connected to it. Now, I don't know how this exactly works on Android, but over on your iPhone, if you want to have an app set up for Octo Everywhere, you're just gonna navigate to octoeverywhere.com, log into your account, you should be able to see all of your 3D printers printers that you have set up and then click on the very bottom or the top depending on how you have the layout set up and click on the share function and then you're going to click on add to home screen which is then going to create an individual app for this direct website connection so now you can go directly from an app on your home screen or directly into Octo Everywhere no matter where you are to check on the status of your 3D printers and since you have a very limited number of notifications on the free plan I would actually recommend disabling all of the different notification options except except for print failed as well as printer error. This way, if it detects any kind of anomaly or issue while you're printing, you'll actually be alerted to that versus having to go in and continually check the app. But again, if you decide to upgrade and go for a paid subscription option for this, you can get access to a lot more notifications and you won't be limited to just four. You can also send out a live stream link directly to your print that you have. So if you have people that are interested in checking out what you're 3D printing, you can actually send them a link to your live print as it's printing using Octo Everywhere. The other really cool thing is that it will automatically end as soon as the print ends. Something that I haven't played around with, but something that you can definitely do is because it's an option and there is set up a different camera if you wanted to stream to that versus let's say the built-in one here on the Centauri Carbon. I don't know all the details of how that works but it should be explained in there and walk you through the steps. I did go through the process of setting up a webcam for my Neptune 4 Plus that's going to allow me to remotely view this 3D printer as it's printing. I'll have a link to a Reddit post that explains in a little bit more detail about how you can go about enabling that on the Neptune 4 3D printers. And I also mentioned that you can 3D print your own Arduino case and that's exactly what I did here using the Centauri Carbon. Octo Everywhere is such a stupidly simple way for you to remotely manage your 3D printers and more specifically get alerted when different activities are happening with your 3D print jobs and Octo Everywhere is the perfect companion application with the Centauri Carbon. I can see why Elegoo is partnering up with Octo Everywhere and trying to get this set up as a combination option here between the 3D printer here and this remote monitoring app. If you're interested in trying out Octo Everywhere, I'll have links to that down below as well as links to all of the individual individual items that I'd recommend picking up for this little project here to remotely connect all of your 3D printers to this service. I also want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. If you're interested in things like my 3D printer settings that I use for my 3D prints, you can find those over in my Patreon. And let me know if I'm just behind in times and wasn't aware of this service as something that was so easy to set up. I thought this was going to be way more cumbersome and complicated to set up than it actually is. Again, if I can do this, you can definitely do this. Hey, thanks so much for watching you all and I'll see you next time. Bye now out here on a walk and decided, yeah, let's check in on our prints so I can go in and access the app. Here I can see a quick view of both prints. And then if I actually click on the quick view function, it's gonna give me a live feed update of the print. And again, if I saw that this was failing, I can actually cancel the print directly from my phone.